वेलकम टू इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक्स प्लेलिस्ट आई प्रोफेसर हितेश धोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक्स डेंसिटी इन दिस सेशन सो इन दिस सेशन बेसिकली आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू व्हाट इज इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक्स डेंसिटी हाउ इट हैव बीन मेजर्ड एंड व्हाट वॉज द एक्सपेरिमेंट बेस्ड ऑन फेराडेस लॉ विच एक्सप्लेन्स यू वॉट इज इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक्स डेंसिटी सो लेट एस बिगिन दिस सेशन विथ फेराडेस एक्सपेरिमेंट विच एक्सप्लेन्स यू वॉट इज इलेक्ट्रिक फ्लक्स डेंसिटी नाउ सी Faraday have done one experiment in that he have considered two spheres so two metallic spheres that faraday have considered inner metallic sphere and outer metallic sphere and both of these metallic sphere was separated by dielectric material so basically inner dielectric inner metallic sphere and outer metallic sphere that is been separated by dielectric material now in his experiment what he did was he have placed q amount of charge on inner metallic sphere so there was q amount of charge that was there on inner metallic sphere now he observed after some time that q amount of charge that have displaced on outer metallic sphere so he has find like there is something which is transferring charge from inner metallic sphere to outer metallic sphere and based on that he have identified electric flux density so you can see this experiment in which faraday has done this experiment to understand how charge is getting displaced from inner metallic sphere to outer metallic sphere so based on that what is electric flux density see electric flux density that is amount of charge displaced per unit cross sectional area so electric flux density is what it is amount of charge displaced per unit cross sectional area so how to calculate electric flux density here in this case for faraday's experiment now you see the distance with respect to center for outer metallic sphere so if i say that distance with respect to center for outer metallic sphere that is r then surface area for this outer metallic sphere that is 4 pi r square and how much charge that is getting displaced q amount of charge is getting displaced so based on the definition of faraday's law what is electric flux density here it is amount of charge q divided by surface area that is 4 pi r square so electric flux density that is charge q divided by 4 pi r square and if you observe the direction of electric flux density then that direction of electric flux density that is happening as you can see it in this figure now if you observe the direction of electric flux density then that direction of electric flux density that is similar to the direction which is there with electric field so if you say this electric flux density with respect to direction then that electric flux density with respect to direction will be q divided by 4 pi r square into the direction of unit vector r see this is what electric flux density and if you observe the unit of electric flux density then unit of electric flux density will be coulomb per meter square now here i'll establish a relationship in between electric flux density and electric field so as i have explained you what is electric flux density electric flux density is charge divided by 4 pi r square into unit vector in the direction of unit vector r now as per the definition of electric field which i have already explained you what is electric field here electric field will be 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into q by r square in the unit vector direction r so let us say equation number 1 that is electric flux density which is 1 by 4 pi into q by r square into unit vector r direction and let us say equation number 2 that is of electric field which is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into q by r square into unit vector r now if you take a ratio of this two equation 
then you will be getting what is electric flux density and electric field then you will be finding that relation will be electric flux density d is equals to epsilon 0 into electric field so basically relationship in between electric field and electric flux density is d is vector d is equals to epsilon 0 vector e now see here we have considered electric field for free space and for free space relative permeability epsilon r that is equals to 1 so for any dielectric material with relative permeability epsilon r this formula of electric flux density and electric field that will changes to d vector is equals to epsilon 0 epsilon r into electric field so this is all about electric flux density i hope that you have understood this so basically understanding of electric flux density that explains you how much how much flux lines that is passing through cross sectional area and basic definition is amount of charge per surface area and that will be q divided by 4 pi r square that will be the magnitude but direction will be in the unit vector r and its unit is coulomb per meter square while electric field that is 1 by 4 pi epsilon 0 into q by r square into the unit vector direction r so the basic difference in between electric field and electric flux density is epsilon so for free space that epsilon will be epsilon 0 only and for any dielectric material with relative permeability epsilon r that relation uh, that relation based on epsilon will changes to epsilon is equals to epsilon 0 epsilon r so now your electric flux density that will be epsilon 0 epsilon r into electric field so i hope that you have understood this session thank you so much for watching this video definitely you just give your valuable suggestions your suggestions and your comments are motivating me to make out videos to explain students basic concepts regarding engineering so thank you so much for watching this video please please do give your valuable suggestion thank you so much